Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis Davies here with official concept, but uh, not this is not a tutorial or something like that. This is just like um me telling you guys that um I'm about to um do like a series of tutorials uh on fireworks since a lot of people have the fireworks but just decide not to use it because they think uh it's not a pretty good software. But um, so I just want to explain to you what fireworks is. I know you know what fireworks is, but I just want to explain it to you what it is and what it can do and some of its potential and uh some of the heavy works that it can do um so let's get right into it and let's get started all right so what is fireworks um fireworks is um it's kind of like a prototyping tool that uh you can use to make um website interfaces it's like a graphical prototyping tool that you use to make uh graphical interfaces for websites and um maybe apps or something if you're into that um uh, yeah that's that's basically what fireworks is um so people think oh photoshop is the best um tool for making you know, websites and all that but i think fireworks is the best and um absolute um you know software for you to design uh, web website interfaces and stuff like that so you know i'll just go into it and just show you some of the works i've done so far and some of the works i'm actually working on so let's just go into it and I'm just see if i are gonna bring back some of the works is doing to some okay yeah so this is the um, this is like what I'm making right now um, it's like a movie kind of um, website so let me just preview it for you guys to see what fireworks can really do so if you like what I show you right now choose to be here and you know you don't like it too just you know stop watching the video and go do whatever you want to do um so yeah i'm just previewing this in fire right? in uh chrome uh sorry firefox right now so you can see it has these rollover buttons all here you can see i have designed all these custom stuff and within my series of tutorials i'm going to teach you guys how to do all of this how to make your graphics look extremely you know hd because at first when I started working with uh, fireworks, it was just crazy. I, I thought it was just stupid because anytime I do something, it wasn't pretty much that good HD. So I, you know, figured out a way how to do it. And uh, yeah. So let me just go through this and let me just show you uh, guys what, um, how you should actually set up your you know, fireworks to be able to do some pretty good work with fireworks. First off, you have to have this, your normal standard stuff here i think it's when it's in the standard um let me see let me go to the classical let me see i think it's not here i changed it but when you get fireworks the first time you open it it's just going to give you this the second thing i want to tell you guys is make sure you have a, just a like a big space like this just for layers don't worry about this space you can just change your layout anytime you want like by pressing the f change it you know, to give you um yeah to give you this you can work on it you can design it you can change it but this is by pressing f it's just going to give you uh you know the layer the styles so don't worry about the space here don't worry about it make sure you always have some big space here for your work make sure your layers your states common library this is how I've arranged mine if you don't want to put the stuff here and my pages here. So if you want to put them here, you could you know, choose to put them whatever, wherever you want it. Um, so yeah, put your layers here. It's really important to put your layers here for you to be able to do maximum work of this. Because if you put it somewhere here, it's just going to mess up your workflow and all of that. Because you're going to use a little bit. Just look at this. If I expand all of these layers, you're just going to realize that it's just some bunch of... Um, stuff I that you can't just go through all of them. This is a lot of pictures and a lot of uh, stuff I used. So just make sure that you know the layers button is open. And, uh, yeah, with that you can design and you know, go through whatever. And one thing I like about fireworks is you know you could rank the pages and all of that, and that I'll teach you all of that if you follow my um, list of tutorials that I'm gonna do. So. 
yeah that's basically it. and make sure you're you know your stuff and you know how photoshop gives you png 30, uh, 24 fireworks gives you png 32 so that shows you how much hd you can get from you know how much graphical hd you can get from uh, fireworks so yeah that's really, and you can have your um behaviors here the css property here and i have my cooler here that, that i never use but i just been the in the pack I never use that to actually yeah, I'm nice this. Yeah. So yeah. And and you have your auto shapes here that you can create whatever shape you want to create. I don't remember using this, but <laughs> I might start using it. Yeah. So get something like this. And here you can get your history here. You can do whatever. So your control Z works works better for me here. So I use control Z all the time. Shortcuts. The shortcuts are but that number like Photoshop, so you know you can get pretty cool with it. So and the query mobile that I just get because of the shapes I can get from there. I use them to make these. So yeah. And yeah, and that's it. And the properties here is just to tell you about the stuff. I'm not showing you what that I'm just I'm just showing you how to you know, arrange your stuff you know, to make your workflow excellent for you. This is why you always change, you know, your stuff. I use this a lot. I just put it in 50 view, and I get the whole thing here, so I, you know, I just can do whatever I want. Then after, I just preview it to see how good it is. And uh, yeah, so basically that's it. That's fireworks for you. Um, that's the basic interface of fireworks. Um, getting you used to it. And what I normally do is, you know, go to the windows and make sure you just bring everything out. Because you don't know when you might need it. You don't know when you need to learn something else and stuff like that so let me just show you guys something pretty insane about fireworks that people don't know so let uh, me just use a normal custom you know stuff let me just change this to 50 let me just get normal blocks okay so this is a normal box you could add some gradient to it to do whatever you want let me just And yeah, so what I wanted to show you is um, it has more like more stuff to it when it comes to you know graphical interface and stuff like that. Just look at this: you have radio, you have cone, you have all kind of you know gradient styles here that Photoshop doesn't give you. That's that's pretty insane when you think about it. And you can use them to do whatever stuff you want. You know, pretty insane stuff. Okay, and the second thing I want to show you is I'll show you. Your styles. You have some crazy preset styles here. You can choose whatever you want. You can choose this, and it's just gonna change it to it. I normally use these ones a lot. You have like a ton of them here. So many of them. I do. I do use these a lot. Like, these help me much a lot. That, that, that's crazy. It helps me so much. I don't have to remake it. Like Photoshop, they have to remake your stuff. And when you remake it, you can edit it here. By adding the Photoshop Live. What is the Photoshop Live? Let me explain to you what Photoshop Live is. Okay, so just go ahead and just do this. So, this is Photoshop Live. You have to click here. Sorry about that. You have to click here to add the Photoshop Live. There's Sharpen here. There's Shadow and Glow. There's Other. That's the Converse Alpha. Noise. There's Blur. There's bevel and the bars is that just color curve you can add all these you have all of these to help you your graphical interface for a software that has all of these i think it's pretty good and i don't think you should just have it just because you have it, it just because it's part of the you know the presets i think you should have it because it's worth so click on it is it click on this and you have photoshop right, just photoshop right here just that the only disadvantage that this advantage that this has is um the gradient overlay is just one color, it's just black and white. And I don't know why you do that. But let me see this. Wait. Gradient overlay, yeah, it's just one color. Or maybe if someone knows how to change the color, just you know, tell me or something. Because I don't know how they may. Oh my god. Yeah, so pretty much. So I think there's a way people use a uh, gradient overlay here. But there's gradient overlay, there's part no, there's part overlay, there's stroke, there's 
and I glow and all of these work amazingly. So all of these work amazing. You can see changing and all that. So yeah. That's um basically me introducing you to fireworks. If you haven't if you don't know about fireworks, or maybe you haven't been using fireworks a long time in your life. So this is just basic the basic uh, stuff that you need to know for fireworks just what you can do with fireworks so you can get started. At first I didn't know about Photoshop fireworks. I might keep using it better. So that's that's it for today. Uh, there's a lot more coming. So if you really I know this is just basic, so if you really think um, you really want to get into some pretty good uh, web designing, I think this is this should be the channel you should be on. Um, if you, if you want to use Photoshop, you can use Photoshop. But just believe me, just look at one of my just look at one of my tutorials that I've been doing, and if you don't like it, just move. Don't ever do it again. You know, don't ever come back to my channel. Yeah, basically. So let me just. My last thing I'm going to tell you guys, um, recent, uh, see movies, this, yeah, model. Let me this is something I'm working on right now. Yeah, it's, I'm going to change all of this. But let me just change this back to 50. Okay. So, one thing I like about fireworks is when you go and just click on something, you click on it and it just selects the part. You can move it anywhere you want. It's not like Photoshop that you have to go and choose the layer. So you have like a ton of, ton of layers and you don't even know which one it is and you're just so confused. This is the basic stuff that you need. Just click on this, you can move it anywhere you want. Click on this, you can move it anywhere. Click on this, click on this. And that's it. And one more thing about fireworks is you have your common library here, which you can add your own common library. I've tried that once, but I think I reset my whole computer and I haven't done it yet. But I might go back to it. So recent so this is 2d you can you know, choose whatever show through it there's so many you can just drag them in and just drag this in you can just drag this in click on it it's just go to your layers you can click on it let me see if you can even change the color you can even add some styles to it you can change the color add some styles to it. you can just do whatever you want with this stuff see it's just pretty amazing so you know you can have all these and uh Go through them. There's buttons, custom buttons, custom ones in here. So if you don't you want to create your own buttons, that's some buttons here. Amazing, isn't it? So let's just go and preview this. I just want to preview this and see what this button does. I don't know if it does anything. Uh, just goes. So yeah, we have a lot to learn in fireworks. So I hope you guys, um, <laughs> I hope you guys will help me out with this uh, channel that I'm trying to create. Um, official concepts here and uh Dennis Davis here with official concepts. So um I'm out for today. My video um the new tutorial is gonna be out soon. So just be in touch and subscribe, comment, like or dislike if you don't like the video. You should anyway, it's all your opinion. So yeah, that's it for today. Later. Thanks for watching.